Welcome to Explore Composites. Do you build one-off composite parts? Are you ever in a hurry? I got something you need to know about. If you're building things like quick angle brackets, cheap tooling like this, or services on 3D printed or quick machined MDF molds, you need to know about adhesive backed mold release film. It's awesome. So what is it? It's pretty much just a sticker with Teflon, PTFE, fluoropolymer film with a pressure sensitive adhesive backer. It can be a PTFE film with an acrylic adhesive which is cheaper but really only good for one use or a PTFE film with a silicone adhesive of varying thicknesses which can be peeled off again and patched but it's about twice as expensive or a thin stretchy fluoropolymer film with a silicone adhesive which is great for conforming to curved surfaces. Generally acrylic adhesive is cheaper and thin film is cheaper. Silicone is more expensive. So this is a medium thickness reinforced silicone backer. The yellow is generally silicone film. It has a fine woven something in there supporting the Teflon PTFE surface so it doesn't stretch very much. If you cut it on the bias it can stretch a little bit. Putting it down you want to make sure that the surface is clean because any dust underneath will poke through any chunks of anything and this could be done in one piece top to bottom right through the radius but because it doesn't stretch it would be kind of difficult and that's not a good example of how you might do it if you had say a more complicated thing. So what I'm going to do is overlap the top and bottom pieces by about a quarter to half an inch, 6 to 10, 12 millimeters, and then cut right through the middle of the lap in what's called a wallpaper cut with a sharp blade. And I'll peel the top off and then reach underneath and peel out the little strip that's on the bottom. And those two pieces will butt right together perfectly, leaving nothing but a slice. When you make your part, it'll be perfectly shiny and there'll just be a little resin ridge right where that slice is. And I'm trimming the edge up just to be tidy. When does it work well? Well, it releases parts really well. And there's no transfer. It's fast to apply. You don't need a primer underneath there or lots of perfect sanding and polishing. It works great for tables. And it can handle plenty of heat, so with pre-preg is perfect. And it's great for even for complicated tools like this where it releases really well with very little draft or here where you're using a wood, a sealed wood surface. You just need it to come out nice. The downsides are that it's expensive. You're going to need primary paint on the surface. It gets damaged easily and as I'll show you now, it's super frustrating to put on curved surfaces, especially compound curved surfaces like this partial sphere from my autoclaved aerated concrete test video and I spent a frustrating half an hour trying to get this material to lay over this sphere and it ended up okay but not great but for things like this where you need it really quick it was an hour instead of a lot of spraying primer and polishing and stuff like that and say you use a little 3d printed mold like this and some filler you don't need to prime it up use wax or chemical release film release agent you just make it nice and lay your sticker on there and what I'm going to show here is that it's not always easy to use a big piece in fact most of the time you want to use the smallest pieces that are practical this big piece is really frustrating even though this is the stretchy fluoropolymer film this will stretch three times roughly um, but it wrinkles easily and I'm just having a total fight with it here, even, even after cutting it. And so what I'm going to do is give up, take a deep breath, and come back and make it up out of strips. Trying to work this material around compound curves is hard, and especially if it's a supported material, um, like the Teflon stuff we saw earlier. But with this fluoropolymer film, it's relatively easy, provided you don't ask too much of it. And again, it's easier on a male surface. Doing inside this little female mold shape um, is just more trouble because the stretching is harder to control. 
So what I'm doing is I'm lapping the corners and then coming back and cutting the edge. Kind of like that wallpaper joint I did before. But all right, I'm just using the underlying ply to guide the knife. And this stuff is one thousandth of an inch thick. And it's not a big deal if you overlap it, provided you're going to paint the part later. So it releases really well, but mostly it's fast to apply. And going back to this little angle bracket, you can go from mixing some five minute epoxy to laying up your part in an hour. And if you had to do that another way, especially on more complicated parts, you can machine MDF and be laying up the part the same day. Um, and it's just a really handy way to do it. It's not cheap, but it's way cheaper sometimes than the labor and the schedule time that it takes to make parts the other way. Now you can see there's a little nasty bit under there, a chunk. It turns out a piece of backer and uh, this can really be a problem. So you got to make sure there's nothing under there. But once you clean it out, you fold it back down again and everything is super nice. And so it's just a good way to make quick tooling and or to surface prepreg molds things like that where you're going to come back and be painting the parts anyway and what you really want is a nice stable surface with no issues with release transfer or um, any other problems with getting a surface up to a high finish where a chemical release agent would be effective. Hope that's useful and I hope you can find a way to use this material in your work sometime. Thanks for checking it out.